Welcome back, everyone. Well, tonight is the first night of Hanukkah. It begins at sundown. And one of the traditional foods of the holiday is latkes. Susie Fishbein is the author of Kosher by Design. She joins us with a look at how to create the perfect potato pancakes. Good morning, Susie. Good morning. Hi. Thanks Hi. for having me on. So it's, it's customary to eat foods cooked in oil during Absolutely. Hanukkah? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, and what we're we going to start, pancakes? we're going to jump right in, good. making some potato latkes, which are potato pancakes. And this recipe kind of answers the age-old problem of lacy or smooth. We're going to okay. start by processing up on the coarse grating disc of a food processor. So am I supposed to press something? Oh, okay. Uh, pulse. Press All that right. down. Oh, there we go. Toss in another one. You can see the chef that one I am. More. I don't know how to use a food <laughs> processor. Is that what it is? <laughs> okay. There we go. That was easy. You're going to open it up. We're going to transfer half How many of these do you potatoes. have in here? Two pounds. Two pounds. Of, um, I happen to like using Yukon Gold. You can okay. use russet potatoes. We're going to transfer half the, the lacy part to here. Okay. And the other half, then you would put on your grating, your, um, your metal blade onto your food processor. Most people don't have two. You would just, you know, change the blade. Okay. And toss in with that your onions. I think we're okay. Oh, onions. And scallions. And okay. we're going to process that up. One onion quartered. And we're going to pulse that up. So this is the second go around. We have right. So this is now making the here. soup. Right. Okay. And we're going to transfer that into that same bowl. This bowl here with mm -hmm. the strainer. Yep. Okay. It's sitting over the strainer because what we're trying to do is get the potato starch out. That's what we're going to use to bind these pancakes. Okay. So we're going to let that sit. For Meanwhile, about five minutes. We're heating a boil at the same strainer. time, yep, right? we are. In a skillet, okay. In a skillet. And you see, after about five minutes, you see this liquid that accumulates at the bottom? Mm -hmm. If you pour off the liquid, you end up with the potato starch. Oh. Is that neat? That is neat. Okay. Toss your potatoes in. Add in your egg. You can do, do that, that. yeah. Okay. Adding one egg. Salt. Two pounds of potatoes. Pepper. All right. And parsley. How much salt? One teaspoon? Uh, about two teaspoons. You two really teaspoons. want it nice and salty. Are we mixing? And we're going to mix them up. Okay. And we're going to bring that over here to the oil, which we've started heating. Um, peanut oil is a fabulous choice. It can reach a very high heat peanut without oil. burning. Yeah, it has okay. a high smoking point. You want to get your oil to about 375 degrees. Okay. Yeah, I see and you have a thermometer in there. You just want to kind of arrange You don't want to press it down. We're not making hamburgers, you know? Okay. You want to Put it into the hot oil. You want so it like a round sizzle. clump. Exactly, but kind of lacy because you want that outside to be nice and, and, and textured looking. Okay. And again, you don't want to press it down into a patty. You just you want it nice and pretty. You want to hear that sizzle. You want to smell it. You know, you want to mm. cook with all your senses. It does you want to see delicious. it and smell it. Well, now, the green spice in here was what? There are, there are scallions in here mm -hmm. for that oniony flavor. And then right. there's parsley for the pretty. Parsley. Okay. Salt, and these pepper, fry parsley. up pretty quickly. And one egg. And the one egg. Because there's egg in there, is it, well, egg fries very quickly in the oil it. anyway, yeah, right? How absolutely. long are we cooking this for? About two minutes, three minutes per side. You're going to see they're going to get nice and golden. Mm -hmm. Two to three minutes per side. What are we serving this with? Uh, applesauce is the traditional, uh, you know, dollop or sour cream goes great with it if you're serving a dairy meal. Okay. And there's lots of things you could do with potato latkes. It doesn't have to be the traditional potato. You could do sweet potato with Cajun spices for like a funky, you know, version. Very you could nice. also add in, one of my favorites is a guacamole latke where you add in the ingredients from, from guacamole, some black beans, some avocado. You really can really use your imagination and go nuts. Um, it doesn't have to just be traditional. It's kind of nice to serve an assortment. You know, put three on a plate. It's like a little sampler. Oh, okay. Just to, so you, you can know, spice them up a bit. Absolutely. So let's taste. I know Maurice is going to want some, so I'll have to bring <laughs> some over. But uh, yeah, <laughs> he says thank you. <laughs> this plate is hot. Let's see. So this is the, the potato lock with That's the sour cream. The one that you just made. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the one I just made. Mm. Oh my God. Is that good? Fabulous, Susie. Thank you very much. Potato latkes. For the first night of Hanukkah. Maurice, Happy, over to you. Happy Very Hanukkah. Nice. Darlene's mm. sitting here thinking, can I put some rice and beans in this? I like the guacamole idea. Yeah. It smells Outstanding. good. Outstanding. Who knew? Let's do it.